Hello, flow. Oh, well, I just screwed that up right there. Hello, fellow players. How are you doing today? I'm already fucking up. Now, welcome to the District 17's official player's guide. This is for anybody trying to find a way out of this matrix, this paradigm, and move on to a completely different one. Trying to escape the NPCs that surround them, trying to find a way out of the conjecture, the conformity, something outside of the box, right? Or you're just trying to look for an escape to something. But what's that gonna do with him? What the fuck? Oh, okay. Anyway, let's begin, my dear, dear players. Everybody, this is an all signs, so it doesn't even matter what the signs I call out. It's for everybody. Anybody who this resonates for, it is for you. Boop that nose, because remember, it won't work if, it, if you don't believe in it after all. It is just a card game. There you go, Cora. Beautiful, beautiful creature, you. Remember, if it resonates with you, good deal. If not, don't worry about it. It is just... A card game, after all. Now let's see. What is the energy guiding you, dear players? Ew! Look at you got the magician. Oh, this chapter is a uh, the uh goddamn the alien or the hermit reverse. That's the name of this chapter. Chapter two, right? So this is the energy guiding you right now, the magician or the star man in this deck manifesting things, creating things, your thoughts are becoming reality. What influences the energy? King of Pentacles. Could be Capricorn, of course, or Virgo. Maybe you feel like you're not getting your dues. Or maybe you feel as though you are not being as productive as you should be in your own life for well-being. What do the NPCs see? options with the two of pentacles. Be like, what do you think you're doing with all them choices? Mind you, uh, this influence right here has a pentacle, but they're not sharing it. Because they feel like they don't have enough as is. The NPCs see opportunity more than one pentacle right here. Okay. Oh, NPCs, non-playable characters. Uh, just folk that are around shorthand anyway um what's their aggro trigger or what are they gonna do <laughs> for anyone curious aggro is if you get too close to them they get triggered and want to come to attack so this is like your aggro trigger right here this is what happens when you get instituted um nine of cups right here making a wish fulfillment grin and happily be like see i'm so happy with this da, 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 da. All right, cheat codes and walkthroughs, right? What kind of cheat code or walkthrough can we get to? Three of swords reverse, healing a broken heart. Hmm. In between these two, it's like they see the options for this potential, and you think you don't have enough for that potential, and it's almost like they want to try to come in to entice you with the wish fulfillment knowing that you can cause things to happen like you can easily manifest this and you could easily go back to this i feel like players yeah hidden levels bonuses and influences fighting some shit off like just no 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 you can get your back turned while there's other shit coming your way right hidden treasures and enemies the world very much saturn energy new cycle bringing two worlds of like beauty as well as nightmares together <laughs> blending things creating or connecting timelines if you will since that's what her arms are essentially doing like they're wrapped with that shit some of it's hanging on some of it she's coiled on herself but still trying to pull that shit together right the final boss in their weakness. 
Page of Wands Reverse. Leo Sag Aries, potentially. Spread these out some more. There we go. That's a little better. Yeah, you and him should actually be above the board. There we go. Anyway, but yeah. Um, person's got a mouth. This is always, like, the page, the Princess of Wands, or the Page of Wands, no matter what deck it is, they always got a mouth. They're always running in to hurry up and say something. Whether it's good or bad, I don't know. But they got a mouth and they got shit to say. This way, they definitely got a mouth. Someone who acts a little bit immature. Uh, can't follow through because they, um... Uh, yeah, the, like, okay, this final boss right here in this chapter is just kind of like, mmm. Agitating a little bit. They just got a mouth. and it, It's like they'll say anything to get a rise. Now see, if you go for this wish fulfillment, players, I feel like it would be bringing together this three of swords situation for you where you, it would almost feel like healing, but it's like, this nine of cups is weird. Like, this nine of cups, yeah, it just talks about the little wish fulfillment, but I don't feel like it talks about the after effects. It's just she's facing forward so it's the present moment you don't really see what happens afterward i mean eventually when she's reversed she gets bored of this wish yes but i don't know entirely why just yet until i clarify this particular card so it's like this is a wish come true in order to heal something and wanting to bring this together mind you hidden treasures and enemies that could be both okay spoils item drops and rewards strength card holding up your side and looking good while doing it mm -mm -mm. leo's card all right next level spoiler the king of swords gemini libra aquarius energy someone who sits on their throne calm as shit while his baboon kills everything for him like complete savage if he has to be but right now he's calm just chilling not doing much if anything his monkey's on guard though so it's definitely somebody whose bark matches their bite. A cutthroatness. Like, it, it, it's almost like a really calm person who's very savage. It's like they got a, it's like they're like, got a doll face no matter the moment. And they're just very electric and it's very, uh. I wouldn't say irritating as it is intimidating with the way he shocks, right? So that's what's going to happen in the next chapter. We're going to go over this now. Alright, players. Let us see. This energy guiding you? The magician right here. You are in a manifestation mode with this. You've already come out of the cave. Good deal. You're stepping forward after some clarification and analyzing things, right? Um, it feels like you might be a little bit drained. That's a little bit loud. There you go. Like, definitely a little bit drained, tired. It feels like your stamina's down so low. Three of them just came up. I'm not laying them all down. Um... Felt like you were trapped for a while, and your intuition was not leading you to whatever it was you got from in the past, or there could have been a high priestess of all those hiding things about what was and was not bountiful. Actually, this is the six of coins. I always think this is the six of um cups, and I don't know why. I guess it's because they're laid out the same or whatever. Or some shit. But no, this is about unfairness. Uh, someone was ignoring your intuition about unfairness. Could be a Pisces. 
So someone felt trapped because of this scenario, because someone was ignoring their intuition. Either on purpose or not, I don't know. This person's drained from dealing with that kind of scenario. There's feel like a loss of opportunity as well. King of coins reverse. Hmm. That's a little confusing, players. Let's see. Okay, because the King of Pentacles is right over here, too. So that is definitely the... Did this happen last time where the one card showed up on this side, too? I can't remember. But um, it's like... Yeah, it's like I was saying. You feel like you're drained. Like you've already missed opportunities. And that's why you're manifesting. Because you feel like there's more that you can gain. Dedication and adamant. Like... <clears throat> These two fours over here, you're no longer loyal to at this point. It's like you're going on to something completely different, players. I don't know why I got three, but it's whatever. We'll go with it. Back over here, the King of Pentacles, where I said you don't feel satisfied and not possibly providing as much. The influence of the energy you're in right now. Like you're in the energy of making something happen because you feel like something isn't happening. We got temperance, reverse, chemistry, infusion did not happen. There was no alchemy. We have the queen of wands who theorizes and calculates. Could be Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo. It's like you decided that since like you couldn't bring something together, you are making time to think things through a little bit more you know um spinning your web in order to catch more flies at least that's how it's looking so far like there was supposed to be a chemistry or a meshment of sorts but it didn't happen so now you're trying to look for a different way of doing things all right now what the npc sees is the two of pentacles definitely opportunity you might not see it but they do it's an opportunity of pain and grief well like they're gonna hurt you with emotions well they've been trying to catch your attention anyway it certainly doesn't matter but like they might like there's options of pain and grief when it comes to a queen of cups cancer or pisces a scorpio type um I don't know. That is some fresh fuckiness, if I say. Um, it seems like... Some sort of, like, sadness came over the NPC's player. And Shaman and Enchanter, they have just possibly lost their shit. Probably got all emotional... They probably cried a lot. I don't know. Lots of fuckery going on with this. Uh, or, when they see your options, they're thinking of ways to cause you pain and cause you to be uh, all out of your element as well. So let's see about the aggro trigger what is that nine of cups right hanging around when you should be get gotten and getting you know not letting like they, like okay this wish fulfillment's almost like you know they want to give you the wish so you don't have to go further on in your path be like we'll give you whatever you want or um uh, giving what you some sort of wish or whatever that you were probably asking about a while ago or wanting a long time ago that could be an option in that sake right Ugh. sorry my nose itched a little bit okay so let's see what's next 
Hang around. You're, you're, you would end up unhappy if you took this. The NPCs right now might be triggering you to, uh, take this wish fulfillment, which, yeah, you wouldn't have to evolve anymore, but then you would end up, like, losing your power. What causes your true genesis and whatnot, right? It's like, okay, I'm going to go be unhappy and stay in this weird fucking relationship of sorts, I guess? Hmm. Let's see. Oh, people are so strange. Cheat codes and walkthroughs. The three of swords. What kind of cheat codes and walkthroughs are we getting with this? How do we navigate with this particular card? First off, you gotta be savvy. Know what the fuck you're doing. That's important. That is totally important. <laughs> three of wands. Hmm. I'm laying one more down there, because, like, I'm not sure I grasp that. That's the Hermit Reverse. Like, possibly looking back at how you, like, use the Three of Wands, that waiting game, that smartness, that deciding very carefully. Because that will lead you to the King of Swords players. After all, if you're using your cunning, your ingenuity, your savvy. Right? Yeah, you're remembering... Like, you've already been heartbroken before. But what this is, is you're navigating with what you know when it came to when you didn't know yourself and how weak you were at that time. Um, you're still essentially tired, but now you've moved down to the three where you're just sitting and wait until you feel like you can collect yourself. Um, also, in some cases, the Hermit can talk about coming back out of um, self-analyzation and looking at things over, you know, analyzing where your strengths and weaknesses are. This person, the person this, uh, player could be dealing with as well, might be trying to look over what they know too in order to figure out what the weak spots are. So keep that in mind as we go, and I'll clarify with my, uh, Rider wait today, because I feel like they deserve some lovin's. They don't get on the show as much anymore. Is this the show? No, I don't think so. It's just me uploading weird videos. That everybody loves. Okay. So, hidden levels, bonuses, and influences. Okay, Seven of Wands, somebody's fighting off some fucking, like, snoops who are really concerned and confused about what to do with their situation of being left out in the cold. Um, mm. Let's see. Somebody has the gumption to fight some stuff off. Like we got an Aquarius right here, Libra or Gemini, the Page of Swords, or Swords, as a, a young child decided to tell me the other day. Uh, which is really cute, because I think I said it like a couple days before, but I can't remember now. I don't know. Or I manifested it. One of the two, but it was really adorable. Anyway, um... <clears throat> this person's got a... Um, This first has the, like, players, you're kind of, like, <clears throat> fighting off an influence. You're, you're basically getting into an influence where you're defending yourself, putting up a good, solid battle against those who want to snoop because they feel left out in the cold, you know? Like, they're all, like, like they're looking over here. Ah! Kitten. They're all looking over here. Like, what are you, like, report back! And the bats are like, squeak, squeak! And then the kitty's like, Okay, I need that in cat, because I don't speak bat. Which is a shame, because they both rhyme. Right? A lot of distance and ether in this as well, players. You're gonna have to, like, try to fight off all of this just to create more distance for yourself. Um, they might want to come in and, like, find out all sorts of shit, keep tabs, all of that, right? But, like, 
at this point, like, there's already movement in the paradigm, it seems like, for you. Now, the world, right? Get over here, kids. There you go. Crazy lady. And the treasure, hidden treasures and enemies. My apologies. This world card. Something new is starting. Uh, Knight of Cups, Spellbound, Charisma, except it didn't work with this person. Queen of Coin. I feel like this Knight of Cups wasn't able to seduce because she's just sitting on a rock really high up like, nah, you go somewhere where you ask before I eat you. Like she looks, like she actually kind of looks really freaked out on this rock. But it says bliss and comfort, so I guess so. Um, could be Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo energy right here, my dear players. Hmm. You might be in a really comfortable position, players. Wow, this Knight of Cups over here is being very stingy with their emotions. Or they could be displaying that they're comfortable with the Queen of Coins, but I don't know if they're the same or not. Uh, I do know that there is some sneakery going on right here. A little bit of fuckery. Just a little bit. Yeah. Someone's just trying to get in somewhere. It's like their methods did not work and this uh, Queen Coin still has her back turned or whatever. Hmm. Alright. Final boss and their weakness. Page of Wands, or Princess of Wands. She's reversed, so she's got a really big mouth on her. Likes to say too much shit, right? Trying to be a victor, or an archetype. Six of Wands, she's trying to gain a victory here. Rather quickly. Like, very snappy. This final boss is, like, just set, like, very, very, like... Like, a snap of an alligator's jaw, man, and it'll grab you and bring you under and roll you around till you're drowned and shit. Like, that kind, and they don't let go once they get you. You gotta, like, take a, like, a, a, a fucking, like, entire fucking tree to pry a mouth of an alligator open, it seems like. Like, they don't let go. It's like, ew. One more for this one. You're gonna stay and be a family like the rest of us! This is where you belong! Like, look at this, look, look at the parents, especially the mommy one. She just looks so freaking bad. She's just like, we're going to sit at this dinner table right now. We are a family. <laughs> She's like insulted because... <laughs> oh, Lord, player. This final boss is just... Uh, Jesus. Okay. <laughs> That's what it feels like. It feels like someone is like... It's like someone's mom's being all mean and shit, and I don't know why, but it's like, Jesus, I'm sorry, mother. Okay. Uh, over here, spoils, item drops, rewards, that kind of jazz, strength card, you don't take the bait. You keep your strength up, you restrain yourself, you look pretty while you do it in your dress, too. This is the devil card, so Capricorn could definitely be in here. Definitely Capricorn energy, the devil energy, like separating themselves from what is bad for them, what is unhealthy. Letting the wheel of fortune turn. So yeah, um, don't let anything pull you out of your strength, because it's all just a freaking lie. Uh, it's all a trap. Everything's a freaking trap. Like, if you're woke, you gotta be paranoid because everything's a fucking trap. Every fucking time. I swear. Okay. Why do we? Why do we? We're gonna go into our day. Or whatever. I don't know. Okay. Okay, the influence is guiding you, right? You are definitely trying to get out of that Three of Swords energy player. So you can go get your next amount of healthy, healthy booty. This could also be this fire sign 
there is fire energy in here as well, but I feel like this is more like you in order to secure what you feel like is necessary, right? When it comes to the influences of the energy or what influences the energy that's guiding you right now, we got the King of Wands right here. Counterpart to the Queen. Uh, look it over shit properly to move things forward. Get the Wheel of Fortune turning, right? You want to have a good time. But I feel like in secret, here's the High Priestess. It, took, it might have taken a lot of fighting, or you might go somewhere where there's just a lot more conflict. But there was a lot of petty arguments and stuff. Or maybe you feel like the situation you're leaving right now was based on something so freaking petty. Or maybe all the fighting was so petty or whatever. Alright, what the NPCs are seeing at this moment. Okay, that's cool. Um, that they are still left out in the cold and they are not entirely... They're not the strongest one here. Didn't come out in their favor entirely. They put up a good fight and then they just decided to give up, I feel like. These NPCs will. Let's see. What is their aggro trigger? Well, with that, there's a lot of... Um, if you do take their... Um, if you do get into their trigger and like, or if, if you cause them to come to you, to react to you, it's like, you know when I was looking over everything and it was just like, it's so bad and, uh, and you take their offer, it, it, it might end up being like enabling bad behaviors and shit, which would keep you in a bad mindset. I'm going to like, one more, one more, one more, then you'll end up with your guard up all the freaking time again. That's not, that's no bueno. That's no bueno. No, no. Okay, cheat codes and walkthroughs, right? I really feel like it's just using your cunning, the three of wands. I really feel like it's using your energy in your brain, remembering everything that happened along the way after waiting all this time, using that to navigate what's next to do. I really feel like that's what that could be, players. Uh, which is recognizing that some people just don't know how <laughs> they just don't have the right kind of manners like they're offering their bullshit to anything but this two but well almost said two of cups the lovers reverse right here it could be gemini's energy also earth energy once again it's like someone really does not know how to like like you know page of pentacles reverse like to say he's an idiot because not only does he really not give anything that is um approachably good or with effort he just kind of threw it together because it was the last day for the exam and he thought if he wrote like anonymity or s some word a thousand times it would make up for the fact that like he had like an experiment to do on a deer heart you know it's like completely out it's just out of the ballpark it also talks about how uh you deal with people too and this page of pentacles, already immature and shit, is just giving whatever it is they already have to offer, which isn't very much, nor unique, nor useful, nor, I feel like, wanted to anything but this lover's reverse right here. Hmm. That is a right judgment call, though? What the hell does that mean? What does that mean? Gretch, what does that mean? Like, they still think not giving... Like, you're in a scenario where somebody thinks that, like, not giving... Despite the fact that it isn't anything to give anyway... When it comes to this sort of separation, or maybe not even making a choice, because the lovers can talk about choice too, is the right judgment call. Mind you, which ones were these? This is remembering stuff from back in the day. So you're remembering that this person, players, this NPC, withheld and gave their shittiest shit to other people. Possibly not to you. 
And that is the right judgment call on how to look at this shit. Okay? Okay. Alright. Hidden levels, bonuses, and our influences. There are no good options up in this bitch. All of them are worn out. All of them are shit. Take your pick. Right? Empress. Okay. Strength right here once again. Okay, so like, you, you realize that there are no options in this. No choices in it. And as the Empress, it seems like you're just trying to withhold yourself in this entire sense of the influences. It's just like, you're fighting shit off, but damn it, you look good at it. You're just gonna chill there. The more distant it is, I think, the better, and that's what you're holding out for. Let's see. Hidden treasures and enemies. This, uh, Knight of Cups just looking at this Queen of Coins is just silly. It's, he's, it's like he's going, Wah! like, I don't know. <laughs> King of Pentacles. Maybe that's why she looks like that. He, like, every time she starts nodding off trying to go to sleep, he just goes, nah! <laughs> and just wakes her up. Sorry, that's stupid, but... <laughs> we got the King of Pentacles here. Uprightness. Look at this. When this all... Okay, so when you finally um, come full circle with all of this player, you're going to end up King of Pentacles. You're going to... Be able to establish yourself right. You just got a lizard going at you every time you try to go to sleep, just to get on, just to make sure you know they still exist. Ah, uh, well, did that not work out? Well, it doesn't matter. A door is still open. Four of wands right here. Interesting. I got the King of Swords reversed as well, players. I'm like, the dude's trying to get her attention. Maybe this is her counterpart. because that's also you players, but he's upright right now. And it's like, the cups were spilt, but now there's an open door. So maybe this is just you, all prepared to move forward. Even though all your cups have spilled over, you're still going to an open door that's behind you. With this two cups right here, which also has two people in it as well. So maybe one got spilt over, but you're moving to the next ones. All right, all right, all right. Final boss and their weakness. Uh, this mouth over here who demands you be part of the family. Err, right? They are crazy. They are crazy. Scorned woman, queen of swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. That, she will always be the crazy lady. Always. Ooh. You got the Queen of Pentacles. Ooh, I got like a whole bunch, actually. She definitely do goes down here. But, um... Let's see, there's a lot of petty fighting. You know, all the bitches be petty and shit. Led to a fucking betrayal. Now this King of Swords is just angry and shit. Now he's just... Right now he's just saying whatever. And the Queen of Swords right here... Is crazy, and I almost feel like she wants to come after this Queen of Pentacles. Who's just chill. So I'm not sure about him right now. Let's drop another. Like, everyone wants to come after the Queen of Pentacles. Her back is always turned. The other person's just going, Meh, behind her head so she can't go to sleep. Now this person's coming with a sword going, Meh, or whatever. I don't know what the fuck she was going to say, honestly. Um, no love's being given to this entire scenario. Um... Whatever this is. Okay, maybe the Queen of Pentacles and the Queen of Swords are the same person. Maybe she's chilling by herself, but it, 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 deep down inside, she's a scorned woman. Uh, 
But it's like she's got a pencil here. But nobody wants to come and offer a cup to her, or a select person players is offering a cup to her. Whichever choice that is, really, for you. Okay, spoils, item drops, and rewards. Like, just like the one that fell in the floor. Right, not getting lured in by that bait by the devil, and going on to a new cycle. We got the emperor right here. It's all reversed. Probably not very happy, you know. Doesn't know what to do. But I feel like he's keeping that under wraps. Kitten, I am almost done with this. Then you can wait. Okay. What's coming in? What is the spoilers for the next level or chapter? What are you doing? Hey, bless these for me. Thank you. Good kid. Okay. King of Swords. Now he's upright. Very calculating. Very strategic. Always a thinker. Can be cutthroat and insane. Like, of the batshit variety. Right? He's coming out of those bad memories. Like, he's no longer, like, suffering, like, all the jitters he gets whenever he remembers it. It's no longer as traumatic as it used to be. Even though there was not any balance, or he's seeking to create balance where there is none right now with the Justice card reverse. And a lack of restoration and rejuvenation. Okay. So he's coming from the past where like things were fair and he wasn't able to recover from it. So now he basically is sitting in his power on his throat. <clears throat> He's still keeping an eye out, of course. Oh dear. And I think he's looking for whoever was a sneaky sneakster. He's coming out like in a in a page's outfit. Acting like he isn't the king to gather information. And he's waiting for this person to walk right into him. So, players, that was the guide for this chapter. I can't wait to see you guys next time. Remember, I love you all. Be safe and stay suspicious. Love you. Bye-bye.